Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Sweet 16 coverage of the NCAA Tournament on CBS Sports. Today's game is between the Oklahoma Sooners and the Arizona Wildcats. And there is the starting lineup for each team. I really like that matchup at the point guard position, guys. Part of the responsibility is to be the coach on the floor who will play well enough to lead their team to victory. And here's what the plan of attack is for either team in regards to tempo. And after all that anticipation, we're underway. They work it around the perimeter. Call for the foul. Once again, a case of being too aggressive defensively. There's nothing wrong with being aggressive, but you just gotta know when to back off. Well, Bill, this young man's now in his second season of eligibility. Plus, he's been through the first year. It's going to be exciting to see how much he learned as a freshman. His team definitely expects more from him this season. A great trap initiated by the defense. Dump it inside. With 10 to shoot now. Cross court. Fires. He can't get it to go. Great strength. The Wildcats in their three around two motion. What mismatched nightmares, Gus. Out on the left wing. He shoots from the left of the circle. And he can't get them out. How about that elevation? This guy is really known as a power guy. He's a banger, Gus. Uses that bulk and size to score in the three-second lane. Baseline. Shots up. Put a little English on it. They work the perimeter. Going with the ball screen now. In the lane. No. Snatches it down. Thanks for joining CBS Sports coverage of NCAA basketball. I'm Gus Johnson alongside Bill Rafter. Takes the medium range jump shot. Off the mark. Rips it down. On the right side. Fires. Shots off. A great defensive team will limit their opponent to one shot, Gus. They work it around the perimeter. Wide, wide open. And he gets it. on the left wing he goes for three with no luck and he's and one beautiful this guy is a complete player in the post the big fella can face you up play back to the basket he's a good rebounder and solid on that defensive end one shot Makes it. Oh, 
We are at the two-minute mark. The ball carrier can't escape. Great defensive trap there. That's almost a textbook, Gus. The Sooners running their zone offense. Now, this particular offense is extremely tough because they get into the high-low look. On the outside. Heat check time from long range. Off the mark. And when a shot goes up, the goal should be to limit the opposition to one opportunity, Gus. They did a decent job there. Now they work it around the perimeter. Turnover. They'll go the other way. The Sooners set up three around two. When you have smart inside people, they understand how to maintain spacing throughout each trip. They work the perimeter. Jump shot. He missed it. Pulls down the board. They work it around the perimeter. Under one minute remaining on the game clock. Down in the low block. He can't get it to go. C reacting. How alert, Gus. In the lane. Perfect. On the outside. And he's fouled. There's quite a play made here. He's got one thing on his mind. Protecting the tin. They'll throw this one in from the side. The Sooners now looking to run their stuff against this zone. But what they do is put it on the deck, creating a pinch, and then find the open guy. One half is in the book. Stay tuned for CBS at the half. Here is our game summary. We've seen a lot of action and some impressive play here today. A look at these numbers can give you an idea of who has been doing what. Here's a look at how both teams are doing with their keys to the game. <laughs> Bill, what's going through these three minute marks? Shots up. He nails the long-range bomb. The Sooners are getting some great opportunities to score when they get the ball in the high post rack. Well, anytime you get a player on the high post, you can make plays, you put pressure on the D, and that can lead to some easy open looks. Swatted away. He puts up the tray. Dagger. Two minutes left on the game clock. They work it around the perimeter. Fired. He doesn't get the hoop to fall. Out on the wing. Jump shot. And he misses the shot. Court receives the pass. Send it in, Gus. On the
the left side. He shoots from the corner. He misses from downtown. Gordon handles the feed. He strokes it. Got it! Under one minute remaining on the game clock. They work it around the perimeter. And we have a change of possession here. How about this one, Coach? Elevation, Gus, and strength at the tip. Way out on the right way. He can't get it to go. Snags the offensive rebound. Put a little English on it. Cole receives the pass. He shoots from the corner. Misses from long range. job defensively pushing in transition he can't get the hoop to fall Pitts handles the feed This one's over. One team moves on. One team's going home. Well, the better team won because they protected the basketball. They made sure they converted on the free throw line. They did all of the little intangibles we consistently talk about. And that was the difference in this game. Coach, let's take a moment to look at our players of the game here today. These two kids were fantastic. They played hard and put forth an effort that I'm certain your coaches will be happy with. That concludes our coverage on CBS Sports. For the governor, Bill Raftery, I'm Gus Johnson saying good night. <laughs>